I know it's only seven games in, guys, and we'll probably have this conversation after 10 games in for Dominguez, et cetera, but Jack, it's a really good sign that we keep having conversations about really quality at bats for him. Yeah, there's just a comfort level at the plate in Dominguez, and then when you watch Dominguez, he never looks like he is uncomfortable. He never looks like he's trying to do too much, and one of the things I learned when I first started covering baseball is, does a young player try and speed the game up? Does he try and do too much? Does he look like he fits in and I love the way Dominguez stands so tall with the bat barrel pointing down and that's just a way to be tall to get a good look at the pitcher and Aaron Boone talked about it he's got great strike recognition of the strike zone and I think it's because of his setup his leg kick is, is big but it doesn't do it quickly everything happens slow there's a lot to like there and you just wonder when he gets in that first little slump does he try to do a little bit more I, I, we haven't seen anything that you don't like at the plate with him yeah and we, we again we temper this by saying it's a, a week in yeah. Jack but also we haven't had that conversation. Oh, he's fine with a fastball, but just throw him a slider, you'll get him out. Like, that has not happened yet. No, that hasn't happened, and that was a cutter right there that he handled pretty well, and obviously his home runs, Michael Kay mentioned this during the game, they've been more line drive bullets than majestic home runs. And the one thing that Boone just referenced that we heard about him from the time he was 16, elite plate discipline, that he's going to go up there and swing at strikes. And what do you want to do when you get to the major leagues? You want to have a quick impact. You want to go up there. You want to get as many hits as possible. That's sometimes going to lead you to bad habits and straying out of the strike zone. Dominguez isn't doing that. Dominguez is making sure that pitchers are coming to him. Okay, we've watched him for a week. Is he a pull hitter or does he hit the ball the other way? He's done everything. Yeah. He's done yeah. everything. I mean, he hits the ball the other way. We think of his first home run, his first at bat. We've seen rockets right back up the middle. We've seen balls that he's pulled into the seats at Yankee Stadium. So there isn't one area that jumps out that you could say, oh, yeah, that's how we're going to get him out. The, the league's got to figure this kid out. We'll see how they try to do it. The Martian has indeed landed four home runs in his first seven career games. Youngest player in Major League history to do that. Youngest in the modern era to hit a homer in four of his first career seven games and then youngest Yankees with four or more home runs in a seven game span three homers have given the Yankees the lead as it did tonight at that point it was two to nothing that graphic courtesy of Toyota and the value of Jason Dominguez too guys Jack you're penciling in a switch hitter we see him so much from the left side the value of a switch hitter but also what's the knock against the Yankees lineup two right-handed heavy that left-hander's built for Yankee Stadium. One that when he went to Double A at the start of this season, he struggled. He struggled mightily. And I said sometimes the team knows the player better than the fans who are observing the player. Maybe he was called up at exactly the right time. Maybe this was his time to shine. The fact that he's succeeding at this level shows that it was a good time to bring him up after a really short stint to triple a i'm really glad you brought that up the struggles <clears throat> excuse me at double a when he had a great big league camp right when you're a young player and you go to big league camp and you have all that success and you go back to the minor leagues there is a letdown and you wonder if it took him a little while to kind of gain some traction now he's hitting third for the new york yankees and we showed that graphic some amazing things that he has done well eventually he's going to come down from this too and that's when you get into the grind you hear managers and players talk about that all the time the grind of being a major league player right now this kid is floating on air and rightfully so but when you throw somebody in the number three spot in the lineup and he doesn't even flinch that tells you maybe more about the makeup of this kid and we're breaking down his swing but it takes some uh, some confidence to hit third for the Yankees and do what he's doing right now so the future obviously is very bright we're gonna talk a lot about the 1998 Yankees tomorrow and obviously Derek Eric Jeter coming back for his first Old Timers Day. Flashback to before the 96 season. Joe Torre had said that Derek Jeter was going to be the starting shortstop. And then Jeter kind of corrected his manager and said, I think what he meant to say is I will be given the opportunity to be the starting shortstop. I think Dominguez is going to be in a very similar situation. Let's see the way the rest of September plays out. But he has shown so far in a week that you're looking for this kid to be in the outfield for the Yankees somewhere next year and give him the opportunity to be a starting player. But bringing up him and Wells does it, and I would say this too about about Anthony Volpe given the shortstop job that they've changed their MO you could have certainly made a case to leave Dominguez and Wells at AAA let him finish out the season 
bring them up to camp next year and say, okay, now you guys got a shot. They've accelerated the pace on some of these guys that are in the minors. I think that would have been a, I think the Yankees would have been undermining their own pursuit of success in the future if they had done that. Where their season had stagnated to, you had to get your young players up. You had to see what they were going to be able to do. Wells and Dominguez deserve at-bats more than Higashioka and Bowers. So I think by the Yankees doing that, they're admitting that this season was fading away see what 2024 might bring yeah and I think about Dominguez when he got promoted up to AAA the batting average over 400 so when you're a player and you get the promotion of the big leagues he got promoted at the absolute best time the hot hitter at AAA you take that up to the big leagues and your first swing is a home run against Verlander and my point is he was riding a very positive mm -hmm. wave that he has continued and you look at Austin Wells this is what it's supposed to look like right he's getting his feet wet behind the plate doing a really good job working with the pitch staff and he's you know gaining some traction offensively trying to find some hits so it's the difference between two players not a whole lot of difference obviously in their ability it's sometimes you get called up at the perfect time where you ride out a hot streak and Wells is, is feeling his way around a little bit.